Welcome to Mosse Cyber Security Institute's YouTube channel. My name is Benjamin Mosse and I'm the founder of the Institute. Today, I'd like to share with you my thoughts about the cyber security skills shortage that is happening worldwide, uh, as well as in Australia, of course. Now, there are some of my industry peers that believe that there isn't a skill shortage for cyber security. And I'd like to acknowledge the argument that's been presented to me several times. And that argument is that the demand for cyber security skills and products is being met. In other words, we already have enough people and enough products that are fulfilling the market demand. Um, maybe I can agree to this particular argument, but what I'd like to share with you is that I approach the topic in a very different manner. I think that cybersecurity for many nations, including Australia, is an area of growth. It's an area that they want to invest in. It's an area where they see that they'll be able to export their services, their products. And really, I see three risks that are happening all over the world with cybersecurity today. Number one, I think that there's an incredible gap between what the education sector and what the industry is looking for. In other words, when students complete bachelors and masters, well, they still are very, very far away from what the industry requires them to have learned so that they can be placed on the greatest cybersecurity challenges that an organization or a nation faces. Secondly, I think that there are career uh, paths that are just too short in cybersecurity. In other words, it's very complicated if you live in Australia or if you live maybe in South America to have a career path that really would take you 20 years, 30 years to complete. If you live in Australia, what you'll find is that if you're a pen tester, let's say, and you apply yourself, well, within five to 10 years, you'll probably have gone against the most you know, complicated pen testing projects that the nation has to offer to you. In other words, you'll reach the top very, very quickly. And I think that we have a career problem in this industry. We really need to make sure that we create career paths for people to have careers that go for 30, 40 years at least. And the third challenge that I see, and this, this is really challenges that I see outside of Europe or outside of the United States, and that is that there are not enough courageous investments for cybersecurity. In other words, you know, companies are very comfortable uh, investing into basic security technologies. They're very comfortable investing in compliance. They're very comfortable maybe doing some staff awareness. But any courageous investments that are all about innovation, trying new things, trying things in a different way, well, these projects are quite rare as far as I can tell. And so when you put all of this together and see that you know, the, the people that are coming up in, through the ranks, they don't necessarily have the right skills to join the industry. When you see that cybersecurity is a growing problem and more organizations are going to need people and companies to help them with. When you see that there are not enough career paths for people to follow in this industry and there aren't enough courageous investments in terms of trying new things being innovative and being a risk taker in terms of finding new ways to stop cyber threats. When you put all this together, I think that it's the perfect cocktail for an actual skill shortage to happen. So thank you very much for watching and we'll see you soon on our channel.